Hello, this is Arden Kirkland, and hopefully this screencast is going to be the finale in a series of screencasts to show some different tools that I tried out in March of 2009 to create demo collections of the Vassar College costume collection. So in our last screencast, we were looking at the admin view of Omeka which is what we're looking at right now. But I wanted to do a separate screencast to focus on the Exhibit plugin. So we're going to scroll down to the Exhibit part here. Um, and I'll show you quickly, if we wanted to start from scratch, we could create an Exhibit. We'll click on that. And here's how you'd start. You'd, you'd fill in your title. Um, slug refers to um, the part of the address that it would be in a URL so that you could direct people straight to that exhibit. Um, description tags, is it a featured exhibit, is it public, et cetera, et cetera. From there you'd go on to add your specific pages, specific sections of your exhibit. But rather than start over from scratch, I'm going to show you the exhibit that I've already made, and we'll take a look at that from the back side. So let's, we're clicking on the Exhibits tag, uh, tab, and here is the exhibit we already have, Highlights of the Vassar College Costume Collection. Let's click on Edit. So here we are. Here you see the same window, essentially, we just saw when we were looking to create a new one. Um, but here I have everything filled in. So here's all the basic information that we started with. And now if we scroll down, you'll see under Exhibit Sections, it has each specific section. Um, So I can choose to edit within each one of these sections. So let's go to the 19th century section and try to edit that. I also could, of course, add a section um, or move my sections around uh, to, to reorganize it. So we're going to edit the 19th century section. So here's my title for this section, my slug. Um, and now all my specific pages. So you see with each page you're kind of um, going down further in the kind of, you know, tree structure of, um, of each um, set of sections, set of pages, et cetera, et cetera. So now we'll click on my 1850. Actually, let's go to the teal taffeta ensemble and edit that. Okay. So now you get to really see the the, the essential aspect of um, how the exhibit builder works. Basically, here at the top of the page are thumbnails showing me all of the available um, items in my collection, which I can choose from and just drag them and drop them into um, what I want to be on this page. So for example, if I actually wanted to compare and contrast my teal taffeta ensemble with my bustle ensemble, I could decide, OK, I'm going to grab this image here, drag it down, and add it in there. OK. I also could make changes to my text. Since I'm doing a comparison, I would probably want to change it to be less focused on the teal and discuss something about the bustle dress as well. I also can change my layout. So I clicked on Edit Page Metadata, and that brings me to this page that I can choose different kinds of layout. So actually, let's, to, to explore this compare and contrast, let's actually go back 
and make a new, a special page that's just a compare and contrast page. So a nice, another nice feature is I've got my breadcrumb trail along the top here. So I can kind of skip over what I was just starting to do. I'm going to go to my highlights page and um, add a new section. So I'm going to add a section. My new section is going to be comparisons. So I'm just filling in some data here. I could add a description, but I'm, I'm not going to add a page. Okay. Um, so now I can have my, uh, let's call the first page comparison one. And I can choose a layout. So for example, let's try this that has, um, you know, kind of a, a format with a picture and text for each picture. And we're going to save changes. And now we come to the page that lets me drag and drop into it. So let's drag my crinoline dress down. Oops, went a little too far. Okay, there's my crinoline dress. And let's drag my Bustle press down. Okay, and then I can enter some text. You can imagine I could be much more interesting and academic than this, but let's we're just showing an example. And, and lots more space to enter more objects. But let's say save and return to section. Okay. So here's our comparison section. We just have one page. Now let's follow our breadcrumb trail back to the information about the whole exhibit. And now you'll see I have this new section added, added in here. So now let's see if we go to the public site, that should show up now. So we're going to browse exhibits, here's our exhibit, oh and look, here's our new comparison section. Now you can see our layout didn't exactly come out the way that it appeared on the layout page. We end up with one large image, our text is under it, another image, our text is under that. So there's, there's some work to be done with the layout, but hopefully you get the idea of kind of how you can play around with that. I'm just going to go back until I get back to my um, to my dashboard.